The Republicans who decided to stick by Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore amid mounting allegations of stalking and UAL abuse of teenage girls are looking worse by the day, including Donald Trump, who made clear on Tuesday that he was still all in for the accused UAL predator. But some Republicans, like Virginia Rep. Scott Taylor, are breaking with Trump and taking a harder line against Moore's behavior. In an interview on CNN, Taylor didn't hold back in his condemnation of Moore and Trump's defenses of him. I can tell you right now, Taylor said, if it was my daughter, I'd break his face, I'd break his fingers, and I'd probably do a lot worse. HTTPS shared blue.com content uploads 2017-11 CNN underscore 1122 2017-16.14.48. MP for me, personally, I don't think it's sufficient enough. You know, the 14-year-old girl that was there, I can tell you right now, if it was my daughter, I'd break his face, I'd break his fingers, and I'd probably do a lot worse. You know, I think the president has probably looked at rural politics and the alternative, which would of course jeopardize his agenda in a very close Senate. Now, you know people can have their feelings about that, whether he should do it or not, but I can tell you, Alabama, folks from Alabama will choose their next senator, but I certainly don't feel comfortable with his explanation. Taylor is responding to the allegations as a human, not as a Republican, and in doing so, setting an example that Trump would be wise to follow. If Taylor and other Republicans are politically capable of coming out against the UAL predator, there is no reason why Trump should not be able to. Taking a stand against Moore should no longer be a Democratic or a Republican issue, it is an issue of basic human decency. Trump should stop pandering and take Taylor's lead, although for someone with Trump's history, standing up against those accused of UAL assault may be a treacherous road to go down.